In your opinion, are narcissists born or made? Um, from my opinion, I think it might be a little bit of both, but I would lean towards um, made a little bit more because, like, what made me who I am is, like, the trauma that I experienced as a, you know, as a youth, you know. I, I don't have any memories before I was seven years old, so everything kind of before that is, like, literally blank. And the first memory I have is, like, literally getting hit on my leg from, you know, my dad and whatnot. And from that point forward, that's all I remember. That's all I focus on in my, in, like, in my life when I'm angry. Like, that moment when I'm happy, that moment it always takes me back to that one to that one moment right there but like there's a lot of stuff that went on that could have went on in his life to you know his dad committed suicide so that could have led him to you know be a worse parent because he was afraid to, to abandon his kids like his dad abandoned his family the interesting thing about our research is that we do see a genetic component to narcissistic personality disorder but i absolutely agree with you when we look back at studies of people, people that have experienced trauma, people that have experienced neglect, people that have had parents that either completely devalued them or the opposite, which parents that really put a lot of value on your achievements, it sort of shapes you for, hey, the only way that I'm going to ever get recognition or fill that bucket of ego is by getting praise. Right. So I totally, I completely agree with you. And it sounds like you've gone through some really difficult childhood mm -hmm. circumstances that probably really fed this. You know, the way I look at it is narcissism is like an empty bucket with a very big leak. And that bucket has to get filled with all kinds of admiration and all types of just positive attention. But that leak is like, it's like going down. It's like the Titanic. So you continually have to feed that all the time is that kind of what you're feeling yeah that's exactly what it feels like it's like every morning i wake up like the bucket or the cup is empty and it has holes in it so i'm trying to fill that bucket or cup like constantly with admiration with appreciation with affection for my wife my kids my family my tiktok my instagrams I, i'm trying to feed it like just so much but like the faster i put it in is like the faster it goes out a little bit of advice for what it's worth is that i worry that the Instagram, the social media, and even the amazing thing that you're doing coming on this show, yeah. I want to make sure that you're not feeding the ego to fill that bucket, but it's mm -hmm. more to just realize that you're doing an important thing for everyone else. Because it, this could be a very tricky thing for you. You're on TV, yeah. right? You're going <laughs> to feed, you're gonna feed yeah. that narcissistic empty bucket. Yeah. So, you know, moving forward, and again, you're doing good stuff. Is that what we're people. doing right now? We're filling it. We're, <laughs> we're filling, we're filling, that empty filling his bring ego. It on. <laughs> we're blowing up his ego. You know why they call me a shrink, right? It's because we're supposed to shrink the ego. Oh, okay. And we're filling up his ego. So, but I just want him to be careful with that. And, yeah. and always keep the perspective of, I, I'm really trying to help other people understand yeah. this a little bit better. Thanks so much, Lee, and, and, and thanks, guys. Great conversation. We, we haven't touched on this personality disorder in this depth, uh, I don't think, ever on this show that I recall. And, and like you said, personality disorders, there's not a magic pill to take. Nope. It's all about therapy. Yeah. you gotta, you got to work on it. For more from Lee, the self-aware narcissist, visit thedoctorstv.com.